Um, okay, so I'm going to continue with the lazy man pushing up here. So it's it's not that. Do you know what? I'm going to sink the knight in here and sink it in here just to be an annoyance. Seeing as I can see that little gap here, and that's nothing special because I'm my full concentration isn't there. But um, so now they're defending this square. So we're kind of making them do something they don't want to do. We could still sink the knight in because we do have a pawn supporting which is quite nice really but I think I'll leave it for now but there's no rush so I'm going to just touch in the centre now because the Queen is blocked by his own Knight busy protecting this area here so they've taken a pawn so they think that that's a free pawn but in reality let's grab their pawn this is like um, one of those move order things so they've grabbed back now they believe because they're plus one now that they are in the winning winning seat but when you have to look at the tail of the tape this is where the issues arise now they're going to lose tempo having to move the queen back yeah so this type of small detail thing is the type of thing I'm trying to sort of bring into the um, understanding I'm going to x-ray through to their queen now so the knight is pinned to the queen it's a simple operation just from going greedy munch and grabbing a pawn they kind of lost tempo they've had to move their queen twice in a sense you know moving it um, and not putting it to a place where it's linking up the rooks now basically it's moved again you know so it's these small type of things that we have to sort of think about when we're developing our pieces so I'm going to bring my rook here looking to double up so it's given them something to think about so he's got three pieces now focused on defending this um, knight so in essence obviously we can bring our bishop into the game if we want to going to attack obviously this pawn potentially is going to come down but we can simply take it off the board so yep he's massively protecting this area but what has he done left the rook undefended so our queen can take so the king's moving out of the way now we do have one two three four pieces on there he's got one two three so in essence we should kind of win out so i'm going to take bishop takes do we we should win out somehow because of the move order thing yes yeah, so and um, we can take oh okay so they've resigned so that game was pretty straightforward in terms of explaining it's not really your performance it's what the opponent gives to you and it's being able to you know spot those advantages when they come into play we did nothing special in this game we outlined exactly what we were going through